Hi, I'm Melina Eisenhower. And I'm Matt Webster, and today we're at Sweet in Worcester, Massachusetts, talking about beer and dessert. <laughs> now, who would have ever thought about beer and dessert? We have three amazing beers and three amazing desserts. The first one here on your left, as you're looking at the screen, is Left Hand Milk Stout. It's from a brewery called Left Hand Brewery out in Longmont, Colorado. And their milk stout is very creamy, it's very rich, malty. You're gonna get a little bit of a coffee flavor in the profile. It's actually made with uh, lactose, which is a, a derivative of milk, which actually can't be fermented uh, by yeast, by beer yeast. So uh, it actually smooths out the taste profile of the beer. And these beers were actually given to women uh, during pregnancy uh, to promote health. But during rationing in World War II, the government sort of cut back on that. <laughs> so uh, we're pairing it today with? Uh, we're going to pair it with Bananas Foster. Um, the Milk Stout pairs really nicely with the Bananas Foster, again, because it's, it's smooth and it's creamy. Um, it picks up on the creaminess of the banana. And then the coffee flavor, again, goes nicely with the caramel dipping sauce that we have with the bananas. There's a bitter note to coffee that is echoed again in the caramel sauce that we have for the bananas to be dipped in. So you kind of, the beer and the dessert are playing off each other and highlighting the same notes back and forth between each other. Now another phenomenal pairing that we found was the bread pudding with Raison d'Etre. And Raison d'Etre is a beer made by Dogfish Head Brewery down in Milton, Delaware. And it's an 8% Belgian brew with beet sugars and green raisins. So you're going to get a lot of sweetness, a little malty, and a yeasty flavor that pairs phenomenal with the bread pudding. The reason, again, that these pair so well is they play off each other. They highlight the same notes in each other. The, um, again, they both have a little bit of a bitterness. It's a darker beer. There's a bitterness to the caramel. There's a um, creaminess. And then there's also the sweetness in the beer from the beet sugar and the raisin, the green raisins, and then the sweetness in the bread pudding coming from the caramel. And then there's a third component, which is the yeastiness. The beer has a yeastiness to it, which is brought out by the yeastiness in the bread. And this pairing together is hands down my favorite dessert pairing. It's absolutely phenomenal, and it is what made me a beer drinker. I was never a beer drinker until we did this pairing together, and I saw the light and the reason for drinking beer. Now, raison d'etre in French means reason to be. We call this pairing here at Sweet the culinary O. And that's our reason to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, th the third dessert we actually cooked with uh, the beer, Allagash Triple. Allagash is a brewery from Portland, Maine and they make a triple. As you can see, it pours a nice uh, golden color. You're gonna get notes of banana, you're gonna get real fruity notes, you're gonna get notes of honey. Uh, and as we cook with the beer, the flavor profile will come through. Uh, and the poached pears is a delightful pairing, and Alina's gonna take you through that. Again, we're looking for balance and for uh, complementing each other. Honey and pears, really nice together. And by cooking the pear in the same beer that we're gonna serve it with, we're just highlighting, enhancing, and bringing out um, the notes and the um, kind of complementary flavors um, even more because it runs through the pear and then the fruitiness of this beer is going to pick up on the fruitiness of the pear. We've got the creamy ice cream to offset it a little bit and I like to serve it with blackberries because they pair really well with the honey flavors in the beer and also with the flavors of the pear. And together this is a perfect pear. And we recommend because this beer is 9% alcohol that you share <laughs> it with a loved one or a friend as you're having uh, as you're dining out. We hope this information has been valuable to you. People don't traditionally think about beer with dessert. They don't traditionally think about beer with food, beer with chocolate. Uh, but craft brewing in America has really exposed the uniqueness and taste profiles and nuances of beer. And they've really taken it to another level. Beers made with non-traditional ingredients and things like that paired phenomenally with food. And that's why we're here today. Beer and chocolate, you know, give it a try. I think we will right now, right? <laughs> This is our favorite, again, the bread pudding with the raison d'etre. And what you want to do is really get mm -hmm. the taste of the dessert. So perfect. With the beer and have the culinary explosion <laughs> go on in your mouth and that sensory evaluation is absolutely phenomenal. Cheers. Cheers.